the intersection of monetary policy, market functioning, and liquidity risk management. Thank you for having me here today. After having had to miss this conference last year, I greatly appreciate the opportunity to join you. As you might expect, I was a little busy in March 2023, and I will share some thoughts on lessons learned from the stress in the banking system at that time, in particular what we have learned in terms of liquidity risk management. Forex US dollar drifts lower, consolidates gains, seen rising further. New York, February 14, Reuters, the dollar slid from a fresh three-month high against a major currency basket on Wednesday, as investors consolidated gains following the previous session's hotter-than-expected U.S. inflation report. The inflation data for January pushed back bets on a first Federal Reserve rate cut to the middle of the year. International travel covers the number and characteristics of overseas visitors and New Zealand resident travelers, short-term movements, entering or leaving New Zealand. Overseas visitor arrivals were 2.96 million in the December 2023 year, increasing by 1.52 million from the December 2022 year. The biggest changes were in arrivals from Australia, up 429,000 to 1.26 million United States, up 227,000 to 337,000 China, up 134,000 to 151,000 United Kingdom, up 79,000. Fed's Goolsby says inflation can be a bit higher, still on path to 2%. Bloomberg, Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago President Austin Goolsby said slightly higher inflation data for a few months would still be consistent with the path back to the central bank's 2% goal. Rate cuts should be tied to confidence in being on a path toward the target, Goolsby said in prepared remarks Wednesday at the Council on Foreign Relations in New York. More data like we have seen in the past six months would indicate that path, but that's probably too stringent. Headline estimates of employment, unemployment, underemployment, participation in hours worked from the monthly labor force survey and trend terms. In January 2024, unemployment rate remained at 3.9%. Participation rate decreased to 66.8%. Employment increased to 14,221,900. Employment to population ratio decreased to 64.1%. Underemployment increased to 6.6%. Monthly hours work decreased to 1,906 million. Thank you. 